Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We will extend our discussion on hydropower. In last session, we started with the concept that how the water cycle happens. Then we discussed the multi-dimensional advantages of hydropower plants. Then we discussed the classification of hydropower plants based on several criteria. Then we discussed the basic expression for the extraction of hydropower, that is, P is equal to rho g q h here rho is the density of the water g is the gravitational pull h is the available water head and q is the water flow rate then we discussed various methods used for the estimation of water flow rate and this is with regards to the site selection for the hydropower plant in this session we will discuss the various types of hydro turbines first type of hydro turbine is the impulse turbine this is the overall structure of the impulse turbine this is the wheel of the turbine with radius r and these circular shape structures are the cups or you may say the buckets this is the nozzle this is the overall head or the total head available the or the pressure exerted is the atmospheric pressure in this impulse turbine the potential energy of the water is initially converted into the kinetic energy by discharging water that comes through the nozzle with high speed this is the nozzle and with this high speed of water that impinges on the structure of circular shape shape as you may call the cups or buckets and these are attached with the main wheel of the turbine and this causes the turbine to rotate these type of turbines are used for the heads where the head is very high high head turbines over 300 meters 
Now the next category of turbine is the reaction turbine. This is the overall structure of the reaction turbine and here you can see the turbine is embedded in the water. These are the blades of the turbine and this is the shaft of the turbine which is connecting the turbine with the generator. Now in this reaction turbine, the turbine is totally is totally embedded in the water. and it appears like a structure of like a fan as you can see the fan in the water now fan is always or the blade of the fan is always touches the water no kinetic energy is used for this but pressure of the flowing water used to rotate the turbine however by any means there is some head is required to allow the water to pass through the turbine and these turbines are used for medium head or low head next we have the bulb or tube turbines Here you can see this is the blades of the turbine, this is the generator 
and this small shaft is connecting the turbine with the generator and this is overall casing of the turbine. In this case the overall appearance of the turbine is look like a bulb. So that is why this, these type of turbines are known as the bulb turbines. Again these are fully embedded in the water. Now for the case of tube turbine you can see this is the blades of the turbine and this is the shaft which is connecting the turbine with the generator. And because of the presence of this shaft, these type of turbines are known as the tube turbines. These turbines are used where the available head of water is very low. So these turbines are known as the low head. turbines around 2 to 3 meters head.